mean, you've heard, I consider our opening statements what we stated out there. Is, so let's go right to questions. Is 300,000 your goal as well? Absolutely, it's our goal, yes. And what's the timeline, five weeks? Uh, three months. Three months. Is that enough? Watch us and see. How much of Three months? There was a lot of talk at the state convention about unity, and there was a lot of feeling about unity. Where does that stand today with the party? I think we're stronger than ever. I mean, if I, I that was the point I was trying to make, that uh, the, the, the factions, I think, in some ways, those names are manufactured. I think they're easy to categorize. I think sometimes maybe our, uh, our family fights might, might help to, uh, to remove all those, and quite frankly, I think sometimes you folks like to box us in those, but no, I, I, think those are, I, I don't think those are real when it comes to what's at stake in 2014 and 16. What's you just ousted a party chair, how is it not real? The, I mean, ousting a party chair is, is, uh, ousting a party chair is not indicative of, of divisiveness. It's part of who is the CEO of the, of the entity. The point I tried to make out there was that this is about grassroots, not, not about the, the who runs the machinery of getting people elected. I, I think that's more inside baseball as far as I'm concerned. Why did you feel it necessary to spend so much time in your own remarks talking about not being part of the establishment? Uh, I don't think I said that at all. In fact, I, th I believe I said that uh, if being part of the establishment means that I'm a supporter and continue to work with Governor Branstad and Senator Grassley, then I'm a part of the establishment. What I said is I'm a part of the establishment and a part of liberty and a part of evangelical Christianity and a business, et cetera, et cetera. So that is exactly what I didn't say. I, I don't. I, I'm a part of all of those. I'm a conservative Republican. Cody, I, I don't want to go ahead and check. No, I, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, what role does Danny Carroll have in the party? I think that's Danny Carroll's decision. But uh, let me tell you something. With what's at stake in 2014, we have openings, and the and the uh, and the wanted sign is out, and that goes for everyone. So, what's the biggest? I know you said you don't want to talk about the past. So, talk about the future here. What's your biggest challenge till November? I think, I think raising dollars, I think making sure that we play catch up with uh, where, the, uh, where the Democratic Party is in some of their grassroots efforts. I mean, I'm not afraid to say that. It's, it's a, it's a well-known secret that, we're, that, we are, that, that we are behind in those particular areas. I think the challenge is the same challenge that the Democrats, every challenge we talked about out there, and, and even the family fights that we sometimes have, the Democrats have those too. Perhaps they're a little less transparent in sharing with you folks those. But the, these divisions and these inter-family fights, these are typical. We have them in our, the strongest debates I ever had was look at those the debates we had within our caucus, within our Republican caucus, not out on the, out on the, uh, in the, in the General Assembly. And I think that's true with anything. The family fights are intense and they're passionate, but family fights also mean just circle the wagons in the end. Jeff, there's still going to be some ill will from Danny Carroll supporters. Uh, are you going to have to do extra work to, to reach out to those folks? I don't think I have to do, or Cody has to do, or the Central Committee has to do any extra work. We have a platform. Um, our, our goal is actually a unified goal, and that is to elect Republicans. Um, and I think the platform speaks for itself. You're not, allow, you're, not, you're not hiring us to be lawmakers and policy makers and test givers for purity. You're hiring us to stand side by side Republicans and get them elected after the people have decided through the primary process that, that, that they are the person that they want to wear the Republican banner. Cody, you have donors same. lined up ready to sign checks now that the party leadership has changed? I'll guarantee I've got a list, and you know that, but no, I have, there has been, I don't know about Cody, but I, there has been no no personal uh, request. I never count my chickens for a hatch because uh, you never know. I mean, I, I, things happen very quickly. I don't take anything for granted. I don't think Cody and I knew we were elected as soon as the chair said, said you're elected. You I, said we're behind and, and you, you have to catch up and, um, and then surpass the Democrats. So besides fundraising, what areas are you needing to catch up? Well, fundraising and then, and then uh, on the ground. I mean, we, we have to be on the ground and, and ready to go for get out the vote efforts, for absentee ballot efforts. For all of those efforts, we have, to, we have to be ready to go. But I don't believe this is what put us behind. I believe what put us behind, I, in, in some ways, we have been behind uh, many years before. And we want to we wanna, we wanna recreate. We have, I make no bones about this. And you look at the polls and they'll back us up. 
Well, this has 2010 written all over it. And I'll tell you one thing, you look up and down, even think about the two candidates that we put forth that were nominated at convention. Sam Clovis and Adam Gregg, those are quality candidates that sometimes come out, come out of a, a, a one-year primary process. So even the people that we nominated on the spot are quality, quality candidates. I mean, we're, we're, we're going for it all. One more question. Cody, same question I asked Jeff about reaching out to people who might be upset about Danny Carroll being ousted. What do you have to do there? Right. Well, I think we need to continue to do the things that we talked about in the meeting today. We need to continue to show that their values are our values when it comes to life, when it comes to marriage, when it comes to defending religious freedom. And if we do that and do that consistently, um, we'll be fine. You Thanks. just use the word marriage instead of traditional marriage and you pointed that out. Why? Right. Well, for me personally, marriage is a covenant between a man, woman, and God. Thanks, everybody. Mine's going to be in trouble if I don't get home. So. <laughs>